guys, I'm Dr. Carrie. Welcome to this week's Pet Ranch Roundup. This is Squeaky and this is Kiki. They want uh, to welcome you as well. If you don't know who they are, check out a couple playlists. I'll post the links so that you can uh, get caught up and see the last year of joy that we've had with these two characters. But we are going to jump into this week. I think we might need to pull an animal from the shelter or two or three as the shelter has been very full lately. And hopefully we are going to complete some adoptions as well. So we have a couple phone calls that I need to make. Um, I know you guys had asked about kind of what the process is. So I'm going to post right now. There's going to be a link to the Vet Ranch website. You can go on there and it will say adoptable animals. Um, and that's going to kind of route you to abandoned pet project. Typically that is, or not typically, but that is where you will fill out an application for them. We definitely do out of state adoption. So don't, uh, if you have the means to transport or come down and, uh, and get them, definitely do not let that stop you. If you're out of Texas, we would still love for you to adopt some of our animals. Also on there is a place where you can donate, which is awesome. And uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, where I was getting with this, see, I ramble and I'm trying to, which was also a suggestion that if you fill out that application and it gets approved, then um, they will, after the approval process, they check to make sure your pets are vaccinated um, and that your landlord's okay with you adopting if you do rent, there's no breed restrictions, things like that. Then if all of that goes through, then you get in touch with me because I'll get a copy of your approved application. Then you and I personally have a good conversation about what you're looking for, um, any personality traits or any red flags that I see that may not be a good fit. Or if we both think that it's a good fit, we move to the next stage, which will be you coming to meet um, the animal. And then if you have pets at home, as long as it's not a cat, because we can't expect cats to have a, a good meet and greet, but you'll bring your dogs with you and we make sure that they kind of jive and then voila, if everything's go, they go home with you. So even though the process is long and drawn out and some people don't want to jump through the hoops, I strongly encourage you to. The reason that it's drawn out is because we have an obligation to make sure that hopefully this is the forever home for our pets. We do not want them to get readopted, um, get sent to a shelter or things like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and start this week. Come on. On our list of improvements, somebody asked if we could get a live feed of Kiki and Squeaky. I'm not going to do it, but I just want to give you an idea of what it would look like. <laughs> this is it, pretty much. Licking, Squeaky sometimes biting the hair out of his legs, which we're working on. Kiki looking relatively bored, visiting the litter box every now and then. Then they start begging for food and coming out to get us uh, about four o'clock. Yeah, hey, don't do that to your legs. <laughs> no, don't start at your legs. Okay, April, I'm gonna need you to carry your duck properly. <laughs> That's a 9.5 pound duck. Ooh, I'm gonna need you to control your duck. Wet. Wow. Oh, dead. Wow. Come here, I know it's your right leg. Let's see what you got. And his little red knob on his nose, it looks orange. And it's usually bright red. Why are you hitting yourself? I will say his left looks a little swollen. I know, it seems like that, but he's definitely shifting off of his right. Like, he does not want to walk on that. Maybe it's just because he's been putting so much weight on the left. Yeah, like it's more flat. He's working out. Yeah, I noticed he was looking this weekend. Did you know they're not actually ducks? What is he? They're like, more like turkeys or something. Oh, he's a turkey. Yeah, like that's what it kind of looks like. Muscovies are not technically ducks. Do people call them a Muscovy duck? I guess they're more like a goose, is what I meant to say. Let me look at their feet. They look it's like a turducken. Guess which employee brings her duck to work? Let's bring your duck to work day. I 
I'm a potato. You, oh my god, I just want to need to put a cone on him. Oh my gosh, this is Dennis. His name's Dennis. Yeah. What's his middle name? I don't know. Judd. Are you really? Are you really gonna? No, put a cone don't on? torture him. <laughs> he has a hurt leg. He is a little lion, isn't he? He's a giant. No, he's skinny and little. Why, why do I feel like Dennis doesn't like you? He does normally. He likes me. He likes me a little too much. Yeah. Dennis, 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 Dennis. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you he's, done with your snacks? He's beautiful. Well, it's starting well. Yeah. It's starting up good. Don't anybody wipe out all the water, please. Bye. 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 Dennis. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like it. So killing a duck is far easier than putting liquid. We did it, Dennis. You're going to do that twice a day now for twice how many days? I can't do it twice a day. Yes, you can. And it'll how? His leg. I come to work, he won't get off the log. I get home, it's night time, he won't get off the log. Well, I don't know. I guess get home at the same time. Like it. Feels better already. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Get out of here. So and we have a new case. The shelter was full, and Wendy saw this dog on their list of euthanasias and asked that we think about pulling her. I emailed them and asked them what the history is with her, what they know. They said that she, somebody adopted her out and then that person they adopted him out to returned her like this. And I guess they surrendered her to the shelter, but that's about all we know. Shelter said she's spayed, but she's not listed as spayed in their paperwork. So we don't know that either. Um, but we do know she's sweet and she's skinny and we want to give her some groceries. So, I mean, that's what we do. Is that our new girl? Do we know? Oh my goodness. Because if I like food. She does. She was like fighting to try and get to me whenever I gave Beasley her canned food. Oh, she's so much smaller. Hi. Hi. Why are you so skinny? She's like, I'm a trash panda. I need some food. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, you, you made it. Are we good at giving oh, dogs groceries? Let's see if she has a tattoo. Yeah, see if she's stayed. Yeah. They all recently stayed. Yeah. What's so happening? Yeah, she's stayed. Oh Maybe. wow, like literally. Yeah, has a recently stayed. Maybe so. that person got her back and then surrendered her to the shelter. We did face. Who goes jowls? We're stinky dinky. Uh, dinky, we dinky, dinky dinky dinky. <laughs> oh, some big eyeballs you have there in your Look head. How happy she is. She looks like she's recently been chewing on stainless steel. Metal fencing, that's sad. Stinky, stinky. Stink, stink. Stink, stink. Stink, stink, stonk. You should just not know. Look at her head. It's like a cantaloupe. You know what I want to know? Who spayed this dog in this terrible body condition? Who would go, yeah, let's anesthetize that dog? Yeah, it just happened. Look at that. How skinny that is. Let's get it on the top shot. Look at that. How skinny. We're gonna make that black dot grow. That should be our measurement for her. A wasp waist. You know I will. <laughs> we love to feed them poppers. All right, let's do some vaccines. Get a heart one check. We didn't see when her vaccines were given. No, nope, no vaccines, I guess. Why are you saying no? She just had some. Oh. I was like, what like do you mean? Like on the sixth, she had like two. Okay. So she has to wait a little bit. You have to wait. What do you think about well, us getting some blood though? Blood. Mm -hmm. What do we think the chances of her having heartworms are? 100%. Yeah, two heartworms oh, in one day. You could be 50 50, right. either positive or negative. No, 100%. I'm giving her she, heartworms. I, I think she has heartworms. I mean, I'll give her some hookworms, but I'm not giving her heartworms. Aww. I'm not giving them to her. Aww. Aww. This poor dog, I don't know. 
her face. She's yeah, like, we're no. good. <laughs> good girl. B is microfluria negative and heartworm negative. So that's good. April gave her 0% chance to be heartworm negative, but she is. Well, I did that on purpose. I know. Belmont! We got a hold of the owner. She's an owner. She had a heart attack, she can't have her, but the, she gave her away to people and then got her back in this condition. She's great with kids, good with cats, likes other dogs. She's got my saddle, come on, you gotta go outside, we got things to do, little lady. She's like, the food is on the counter. She's so hungry. She said she was like spitting up after she ate, did she do that? No, no she didn't spit up. Go, 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 go. Oh gosh, more locks it. Oh my goodness. I'll get a pig. I take that. I take that. This is a cold. She needs a sweater. She does need a sweater. I'll get a pig. Beaumont's blood work, aka B, is what we're calling her. Um, protein is low. Albumin is low. That's no surprise because she's freaking starving. Hematocrit slightly low. Not bad though. And platelets are high, which uh, is no big deal. So. Perfect, and she, I can't believe she's heartworm negative, but I'm so, so grateful. Burrs, and they will get stuck up against the skin in dogs and livestock here and they hurt. She's got a bunch of those, so. Part of the reason why shaving is important is like getting mats out. could do to her because she's so stressed out. Mm -hmm. she, does like she does. She likes camper. It's all about the neck. Don't move the neck around. She wants That's a treat. Nice. Get her a treat. Cool. I just feel like she's somebody's like, farm dog, LGD, that they just were like, hey, yeah, puppy, let's stop her. So we move and she's a little aloof, so we just left her, yeah. you know, and then she's trying to catch up to them on the move. This is how April carries her around. She doesn't like the leash or her neck. Oh, it's it's lava. Lava. It's boar's head. <laughs> Shall I? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Can you teach her to open it with her nose? Will you open that one? Mm-mm. <laughs> so this is her heartworm test. It's positive. So here's the control. Here's the test. I'm not surprised by that because I'll show you what I saw in the direct um, blood smear. So here's a microfilaria right here. He's looking around. I may have to move the view again, but this is the baby of the adult heartworm that's living in the heart C. Gone. No, don't look at me. So it's pretty translucent, but we can see the movement of the red blood cells, but this is not surprising, and this is how I knew that she was going to test heartworm positive because there's, there's a baby, and we're going to get antigen to a female heartworm, which is what that other test um, identifies. Radiographs of our big girl. Definitely enlarged heart. Definitely reverse D appearance. Um, changes in the lungs associated with heartworms. This haziness here. 
and larger pulmonary arteries. So I'm going to start on doxycycline, an antibiotic um, that we try to give for 30 days at least, or 30 to 60 days before heartworm treatment. And we'll see how she does. I think her breathing is mostly nervousness, but we'll see if that helps at all. Beasley's blood work came back. It looks amazing, especially for a heartworm positive girl. Um, everything is within normal limits, so perfect. Hi, Gomez. Hi. We're going to get him out tomorrow and look at his ears, but he's going to need a muzzle because he's so sweet, but he just gets sick of us. He's so dramatic. Oh, tell everybody you need a home. Come <laughs> So cute. Yeah, we'll clean your ears. Fashion show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you. He's gonna be upset with me. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna touch inside. They do all <laughs> look a lot better. You're a fierce little dragon. So when do we do for Cernia again? Friday? Yes. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna be due for another dose of medication on Friday for his ears, which will be fun. And then we're waiting for his culture still. Let's see his blood work. Meek. Actually looks great. And then he is negative for heartworms, which is awesome. We may recheck a thyroid in 30 days, but other than that, it's pretty good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. God, he's oh, yes. swollen, I mean. So Gomez has light sedation because he's so painful on his ears. Who is that? Was that Ruger or Worry? Ruger. Worry's an angel. I know what that means. Oh, oh that's way better than this one. Way better. Less inflammation. Y'all do a good job. to catnip. How you feeling? Mm-hmm. Bruh. Hey, bro. <laughs> Grumpy. 
this one has wounds all over it. Here's our two kitties from the shelter. This one says spicy kitty can be rude. Oh, look at your ear. Poor baby. Happy kitty. Guessing not rude. Hi. Oh, you're skinny. What happened to your bo Oh my goodness. What the heck? What happened to yourself? Wow. Hey, leave that hole alone on your arm, please. We're both going to be female. She's like, how do you think it's healed this much so She's far? Like, Mind hey, your own hey. business. Hey, I listen to what Dr. Fox says. He says you're allowed to I know. I know. What are you doing? Skate artist. I told them, they're like, she's been here four minutes. I'm like, well. So Spice is negative, Spicy Kitty for the leukemia and FIV. Happy has a suspicious little line on the FIV, feline immunodeficiency virus column. I'm gonna run another in-house and then I'm also gonna send off uh, to the lab for another confirmatory test. But they are separated. Why do you make such a mess with your food? like he's deceased like he doesn't even blink buddy why do you sleep with your eyes open t-bone you're freaking us out t t-bone t-bone ski oh my gosh you're scary why do you do that trying to find Tito a friend and it's completely anti-climactic because both of them are so toy motivated. All they care about are their toys. It's not that exciting. Yeah, pee on that leash. Nice. Tito, you have a friend. You want to open? Oh, we put all the toys over there. Might be good. They might play more if we open the yards because then they can really get their run on. I try to do that for big dogs, but we'll need to go through. Is that good? So good! Now she's shy. She's like, no, I don't think that's a good idea. That's a bad <laughs> idea. 
She's like, where are you going? Why would you leave? She's cute, yeah. That's a cute bird. You guys want to be friends? Did oh. we just become best friends? <laughs> you want to say hi? You want to say hola? Hola. Hi. Hi. Hola. Hola. We're going up. Oh. Oh, you like her? Oh. Hola. Hola. You like her? Is she your new friend? She's, pl she's playing hard to get. She's too cool for school. What? Why don't you just make a normal bird noise instead of trying to talk? Yeah. That'd probably work better for it's you guys. demonic. Oh, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> Two, what is going on? Like, I don't know. Hi, Toot. Ooh la la. Is he cute? She's cute. Hi, little friend. Well, guys, we are ending this week on such a high note. Two adoptions today on the weekend. Um, and we couldn't do any of this without your help, without your support watching videos, your donations. By the way, here's a link for that. We would love for you to donate because your donations allow us to save all of these animals. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I'm going to go have a great weekend. You guys asked what the adoption process is and here's part of what they look like. Me running in um, to meet a couple people at the clinic to do some meet and greets, hopefully with their dogs. And I'm hoping everything goes well and that we can send some animals home. I'm going to meet an adopter for Bumble potentially and Poe. So fingers crossed. That big bad dog. Oh, <laughs> she's super submissive. Oh, you don't have to be scared of them. <laughs> she's so good about getting dogs that are even nervous to start playing because she's like, No, we're gonna play. <laughs> she loves to play with new dogs. doesn't want to eat. So I'm giving him options. Good luck. Let us know.